In this video, we are going to learn about a synchronization rule. Now, if you remember, in all our labs, mostly in all our basic labs, everywhere we have used a command called no synchronization. Now, and why we are using that command? Why we need to disable that command? If I don't do that, what exactly happens? Let's try to understand what is synchronization rule. So synchronization rule says that it's a default uh, rule which is enabled in your BGP in the older version of the BGP. Now what if this synchronization rule is enabled, it's going to say that do not use or advertise any route to an external BGP neighbor, which is learned from your IBGP until unless and until you have the same matching route learned from your IGP protocol. So let me uh, explain this scenario here. Take an example you are having one route, let's say I'm going to have 10 dot network on my router C and this 10 dot network is getting advertised to router A through BGP. So I'm going to advertise this network through BGP in the BGP network command. Now router A is not going to advertise this route to any of the external BGP neighbors. So it's not going to advertise. So why it is not going to advertise? Because the synchronization rule says that do not advertise the route if the same network, if this network, if it is not learned from your IGP. So which means whatever the network you are using, that network, it should be advertised in BGP. At the same time, it should also be advertised in your IGP. So every route will be advertised only if it is advertised in your BGP and also it should be advertised in your IGP. IGP means your any of the OSPF, EHRP or RIP protocols. So which means every network which you are advertising to advertising in BGP must also be advertised in your IGP also. Then only this border router, it will not use it. It says it's not going to use at the same time, it's not going to advertise to any route unless and until the same matching route is also learned via IGP. So that is what this synchronization rule says. In the recent iOS, this pre-synchronization rule is by default disabled with a command with called no synchronization. Now, if you want, you can even enable with synchronization. If you enable synchronization, it becomes mandatory for you to advertise each and every route inside your IGP in both your IGP protocol and also in your PGP protocol. So that is the thing we need to consider. This is what synchronization rule. So uh, just to ensure consistency, this rule was there. So it's, it's always safe to have it off only if all the routers in the transit path is running just a full mesh of IBGP. And we can disable with a command called no synchronization and from iOS 12.2 release Probably most of the IWAYS will have default no synchronization disabled. If you want to enable it back, we can use a command called synchronization again. So when you say synchronization, which means that particular route, whatever the 10 dot network, it has to be advertised in your BGP and also it has to be advertised in your IGP in order to ensure that this route should be advertised to any of the EBGP neighbor. So that is that is a mandatory rule. So let's try to demonstrate, uh, verify the same synchronization rule with a basic simple lab. So I got my topology here. You can see the same default topology I'm using. Now here I got three routers. Router one is going to pair with router two and then router three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this network so first we'll enable no synchronization in all the routers. We'll disable it and we'll configure some basic IBGP and EBGP configurations. Let's try to do that. So that is very simple. We already did these things in our previous labs, if you remember. So I'm going to my router one. And if I see show IP BGP, I don't have BGP running. And if I use show IP protocols, I don't have any of the routing protocol running here. So just a blank IP addressing. So I'm going to BGP, router BGP 500. I'll configure router 2 by using my directly connected interface. Remote AS is 600. It's an eBGP neighbor. 
and then no auto summary no synchronization so i'm just going with a, a simple basic configurations by disabling the no synchronization network 10 dot network and one interface one dot network now the same thing i'll go to my router 2 i'll configure the basic bgp router bgp 600 no auto summary no synchronization neighbor 1.1.1.1 which is my router 1 remote AS is 500 and then neighbor 2.2.2.2 which is my router 3 600 and then network I'm going to advertise my 20 dot network 2 dot network and 1 dot network which are my WAN interfaces now let me quickly configure router 3 as well router BGP 600 no auto summary, no synchronization, network, 3 dot network, our LAN interface, and then advertising my WAN interface. And neighbor command I'm missing, 2.2.1, remote AS is 600. So it's my internal BGP neighbor. Now verification wise, if I go to router 2, I should see two neighbors. One neighbor is my internal neighbor internal neighbor is 2.2.2.2 it should come up okay. so let me check the corner you can see the neighborship is up if I go show IP BGP summary and from each neighbor I'm, I'm learning to do routes and if I verify show IP BGP I can see these routes in my BGP table and also if I verify show IP route I can I can also see that route, those routes coming into my routing table as well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify on the router 1 also now you can see 30 dot network is coming and if I give show IP route BGP the 30 dot network is also coming on router 1 so here I'm not running any IGP protocol I'm simply running a normal BGP okay with a basic IBGP and EBGP configuration so now router 3 is going to advertise this route to router 2 router 2 is going to advertise to router 1 and router 2 is going to advertise to router 1 because we have enabled no synchronization so when you say no synchronization it ensures that even though this route so is not advertised in IGP it is it is no it is still going to advertise that's what uh, we are going to disable the synchronization rule now what I'll do is I'll go to router 2 and I will simply say no synchronization I will re-enable synchronization on the router that's what I'm going to do now so once I do that let us see what happens so I'll go to router 2 or you can just go to every router and you can do that I'll simply enable the synchronization and then I will verify show IP BGP you can see the route is coming into my BGP routing table if I check my routing table so I'll, I'll try to clear the BGP things I'll, I have cleared the BGP peering clear IP BGP so just to ensure that if you try to see here if I give show IP route show IP BGP I can see the route is learned in the BGP table but you'll see only star star represents just a just a valid route but it's not getting installed into my routing table now if you see here this 30 dot network is not getting installed in the routing table and the reason is as per our synchronization rule now I enable the synchronization this route when any route is advertised by internal neighbor now router 2 should not use and also it should not advertise which means router 2 is not going to install that route in the routing table at the same time it is also not going to advertise to any of the external PGP neighbor so that's what uh, we'll see here as well you can see 20 dot network is not at all in my BGP table 
so if it is not in the BGP table definitely you don't see that route in your routing table also so now there are two possible solutions either you disable the synchronization rule that's what we can that's what recommended anyway but this is just a lab a small lab for demonstrating how the synchronization rule works so we can simply say no synchronization or just go and configure IGP and advertised your IGP so you can just follow any one of the solution so anyway I'm going to disable that synchronization on the router 2 once again I'll simply say no synchronization and then I'll clear the BGP process to reset your neighborship once again and if I verify the neighborship the neighborship will come up and if I verify show IP BGP you can see 30 dot route comes into my BGP routing table as well as uh, into my routing table here so BGP table I can see it and also it is in the routing table now router 2 is going to use that route and also it is going to advertise to its external BGP neighbor so this is one small lab which is going to demonstrate how the synchronization rule works